Yo folks, welcome back. So five videos ago, I showed you a plugin called Gate One, and some people complained this is actually not available on macOS and Linux, and it kind of misses um, audio triggers and MIDI triggers and so on. So the same guy just released a new plugin called Gate 12. Um, so he released this yesterday or two days ago, and it has all the features in there. So we have now here cross-platform support available on Windows, macOS, and Linux. We have audio triggers now, um, so you can just use an audio source, sidechain signal or whatever to tr trigger the envelope. Uh, MIDI support is still in there, so we can use notes to trigger the envelopes and paint modes and additional features, a lot of stuff here. And it's still free and all you have to do is go here to the GitHub repo and then go to releases and just download your version Linux, macOS and Windows. Uh, clap support is coming. Um, it says down here somewhere, clap is planned when there is official juice support. So I want to show you this, how it looks like in Bitwig here. So we have here some kind of random drum bass loop. Right, now I want to put here some kind of gating on the bass. So let's call up here gate 12. So, and this looks like LFO tool here. It's just modulating the volume. You can also see nicely in the background the audio waveform. So we want to trigger this instead of having here an LFO. So we switch this here to audio and we can choose between simple and drums. I don't know exactly what the difference is here. Uh, but then we can also open up here the settings to the audio trigger and we get some kind of visual yeah, information about the trigger. Um, we have also, or we need to actually bring in here the drum loop. Let's use this. So it's just a drum loop. So it's a kick drum, snare and hi-hats combined, right? And we have to enable here sidechain. And you can see here the drum loop. And it's also already det detecting here the triggers. It's the kick and the snare at the same time. So what we can do now, uh, first we have to bring in here a different, uh, let's activate snap. So this is the envelope we want to trigger, just to duck the bass. Um, so we pull down here the high cut, so we just get out stuff from the snare drum. Bring up here the threshold bring up the sense. You can also monitor here the side chain. You can see we get only a trigger now at the kick drum. So the good thing about this is that we can also use an offset here. So sometimes if you think the kick drum is too late or it triggers too late the envelope, you can just bring this here into uh, a negative offset. In my opinion, it works well. So we can use audio to trigger um, the envelope here and we have a lot of tools to single out certain events inside of this audio signal. Um, we can also switch this here to MIDI. So now we can use MIDI to trigger uh, the envelope, but at the moment we use or it receives MIDI from the piano roll. So it's the pattern or the drum, uh, the bass pattern itself. You can see each note for the bass triggers basically this envelope, which is not what we want. So what we want is we want to create here a new audio track and let's call this uh, trigger and we put some notes on there. So this is a basic two step drum bass beat. So we, this is kick drum one, kick drum two, right? So we want to use this. So on the bass track, we don't need to use here the sidechain anymore. This is only for audio input. So in Bitwig, I don't know how it is in other doors, but in Bitwig you can just use a note receiver in front of the VST. And we also mute all the notes 
coming from in front of the note receiver, which is here the bass pattern. We just want to mute this and we only want to receive notes from the trigger track. And now we have to hit play here. You can see this now triggers this envelope. It's probably much cleaner. I have no idea. Um, I guess it's cleaner uh, because you have, you know, exactly at the right point, the right trigger. So this also works. So we can use MIDI or notes inside of Bitwig to trigger this envelope. And I guess you already know or already own um, Cable Guys, Volume Shaper or LFO tool. A lot of people have this already, uh, but maybe you don't or you need Linux or Mac support or whatever, or you want to use something that's completely free or you want to use it uh, because it's open source. I have no idea. Um, I think it's great to have this. Um, there's also your paint mode. So if you enable this, we can also resize by the way. Um, there's a paint mode and we have some brushes here. So you can use this and then click and drag to resize it. And then we just paint a brush <laughs> like this. Okay. So this is the, this is the paint mode. Um, yeah, kind of neat. You can also right click and say clear, go back to normal point mode is curve. So we want to have here's something you want to pull this down you want to have this here and a slight curve and again all the features here we can change the face we can change the tension easily release attack release just to get some clicks out of the result you can change the synchronization here so there's a lot of stuff in here that's not in gate one and it's still free. So the link is in, is in the description below if you want to try it out for yourself. I think it's a great plugin. It works great uh, and it's completely free. So why not? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave me a like, leave me a subscription and I see you in the next video. Have a great Sunday evening. Bye.